Have you ever tried to deploy a Spring Boot application on AWS Elastic Beanstalk and face an issue? Or are you thinking to use this service for your application and deployment of the Spring Boot project? If the answer is yes, then you are at the right place. In this video, we are going to learn how to deploy a Spring Boot jar on the AWS Elastic Beanstalk in the most simplest way. Watch the video until the end to get the inside of the Elastic Beanstalk. The agenda of this video is to create a Spring Boot application, packaging it using jar and deploy it onto Elastic Beanstalk. So let's get started. Here I am in my IDE and I have created a Spring Boot application for this demo purpose. The application is straightforward and pretty simple. I have created the main entry point of the application which is our main class. From there it is going to redirect to our controller class where I have created a two method which is going to be our endpoint. right? So here we have a person and get as a request mapping you need to pass a parameter of name and it should successfully give you the name which you have provided as an output right so we are going to create a jar out of it and then we are going to deploy the jar onto our elastic beanstalk application we need to log into our aws console as you can see i am already logged into my aws console and here what we have to do next is we need to go to the elastic beanstalk service so elastic beanstalk is a service where you can deploy your application whether it is irrespective of java python dotnet application tomcat application whether it is a web based application there are multiple flavors available using which you can deploy your application straight away and work on it right so i'll give you the inside of it first of all let's create the name of our application which is cloud gigs you can provide any name over here i'll go with cloud gigs here you'll have a variety of flavor and uh, the options to choose which kind of application you wanted to work with on aws beanstalk so beanstalk will work as your server you don't have to configure anything uh, it will automatically create and provision uh, easy to instance for you you have to create you have to provide the information to that instance regarding which kind of environment you want to go through so elastic beanstalk will do all the things for you it is the in uh, inbuilt managed service by aws you have to provide your flavor and automatically ec2 instance will spin up with all that require applications and the installed softwares right to work with spring boot and java we are going with java option over here i'll choose the platform as 8 and then we have to upload our code right as we have created we already have our application ready so we'll jump back to our ide and we'll build that application to create the jar out of it so this is my id let's quickly go to the path and i'll uh, execute the maven command to uh, create a jar of it so i am at the path let me go to the command prompt and from here what i have to do is i have to simply provide a command to build our jar right It will take a couple of seconds and then we'll uh, and it will take a couple of seconds and then our jar will be ready to get deployed. I am pausing this video here and once it is done we'll resume back. So as you can see our jar, jar file is completed it got built successfully we need to use this jar to deploy in our EC2 elastic beanstalk. Uh, instance right so let's jump onto our console back here we are and we need to choose our jar file so let's click on here we have to go to that path which is this one we are already into the target file it is just got created so let's select it and we'll wait for getting it uploaded it will take a couple of uh, time so i'll pause the video once it is done we'll resume great file uploaded successfully now let's go and create the application so we need to create the application here 
and this will spin up an ec2 instance on the back end so you can see the minimal logs over here what all operations aws is performing on the back of the curtains right so first of all it will uh, dump your jar onto aws s3 bucket and then it will spin up your ec2 instance after spinning up your of your ec2 instance it will create a static ip address for you as well now what is static ip address so uh, give you a brief idea about static ip address so let's say if you have created an application now you wanted to host that application to any specific uh, domain uh, you know, provider let's say godaddy or anywhere else then you have to and then you need to have a specific static ip right so that ip uh, aws will automatically create for you if you are not going to use the elastic bin stock in that case you have to create it by yourself but here they'll uh, they'll create it for you by default right and then all the logs all the files are going to store onto your s3 bucket at the back end right so we'll i'll pause the video over here it is taking it is going to take some sort of time so once it is done we'll resume and we'll see what all things we need to do next yeah meanwhile the environment is getting created i like to inform you that i have created one more video on elastic beanstalk where i've created and uploaded a simple java based application the link you can find above uh, that video will be helpful to understand more about the elastic beanstalk and how you are going uh, how you can use your java based application on elastic beanstalk and use of it right so we'll uh, we'll quickly resume back once this is done the environment is up and running now aws elastic beanstalk has given us a dns name using which you can use this application okay so now it seems like everything is in place let's give it a try by hitting this url hmm 502 bad gateway error right now how to fix this error why it came and what all, uh, why it require to uh, fix this right so by default whenever you're working with the spring boot application the default uh, server port is 8080 right but there is one patch with elastic bean stock that whenever you in, uh, implement whenever there is a patch with uh, elastic beanstalk that whenever you deploy a spring boot application it is going to listen it and expect it on 5000 port right so we need to do that configuration i'll take you through the path that how we can configure it okay so let's jump back to our console and we have to uh, go into this configuration option over here then the first option which we need to go is the software right so here we can provide all the environment related properties we need to go and add it uh, that property drag it down and here in environment properties you need to provide the server port as 5000 okay so let's give it a try support and then 5000 right uh, also i'd like to add that if your application is expecting specific environment properties then you can you need to specify these properties over here so let's say if your application is dealing with rds any other database systems then you have to provide your username password and all kind of configurations environment variables over here and your application is good to go right so let's apply it and uh, we'll give it a try after uh, the completion of this process success succeeded now our environment has saved all the changes which we implemented here we do have that url again so let's give it a try so on clicking of that now we are not receiving that 502 error but what we are receiving is the ok statement which i have kept as a health check okay so now what we have to do is we need to call the specific controller by providing that request mapping so it was it is like slash person slash cat question mark name equal to cloud geeks and there you go here is your application which is responding you back with the name which you have provided the same thing also you can do by any rest specific in a uh, application if you are having so i'm going to use the postman service which i'm having so i'll simply copy paste it uh, the entire url over here and give it a try from here 
okay so it is working and it is in a good shape right so this is the glitch this is the patch which you have to implement if you are working with spring boot jar application and if you're not able to execute it if you're facing any kind of issue provide the server port as 5000 and hopefully it should work do let me know if you are having any issue any concern or if you wanted to have a specific video on a specific service i'll make it for you thank you so much for joining me on this video have a great day.